our legendary racing heritage. All of our pioneering four-wheel drive experience come together in one amazing new vehicle. Hi, I'm Jacqueline Bung and you're watching the Edge TV Evening Highlights. It's a big windfall for construction and property developer Encorp Berhad. Today, Encorp was appointed as the master developer of Felda's 3.2 billion ringgit integrated township in Bukit Katil, Malacca. According to Tan Sri Isa Samad, who chairs both Encorp and Felda, the project will be developed over three phases. Each phase will take about two to three years to complete. Cita jangka first quarter, first quarter of 2017, we will start the project. Itu jangkaan kita lah. Karena dia memasuki plan dan sebagainya. Dia mengambil masa sedikit. Seperti pembangunan-pembangunan yang lain juga. Tapi saya yakin dan percaya kerajaan negeri memberi sokongan yang baik kepada projek pembangunan ini. Spanning over 641 acres of land, the project is expected to keep Encorp busy at least for the next 14 years. The mixed township development will comprise residential, commercial projects and public amenities. Isa says the project will generate a minimum return of 18%. Felda bought a majority stake in Encorp in 2014. Encorp ended the day about 3% lower at 74 and a half cent. Meanwhile, on FGV's plan to invest in Indonesia's PT Eagle High Plantations, Isa says a deal is still on the cards and that the talks would be concluded by March at the latest. Uh, the latest is still, we are still looking for the new business model. Negotiating is still on. Hopefully we can, tak tahu lah bila tamat. Hopefully one, another one or two months, hopefully we will be settled. All the problem. Ho hopefully, sorry, March at least definitely will be will be settled. Last November, FGV said it was deferring a plan to buy a 37% stake in Eagle High from PT Rajawali Capital International for 2.9 billion ringgit. This after months of delay in the finalization of the deal between the two parties. FGV cited market conditions as one of the reasons. It said it would negotiate a possible different mode of investment in Eagle High instead. A consortium led by Kazana National is investing 160 million US dollars in one of China's largest mobile lending and credit analytics platforms. Kazana participated in the latest round of financing for WeLab, backed by Hong Kong business magnate Li Kasheng. Kazana led a consortium of investors which include ING Bank and Guangdong Financial Technology Group. This is Kazana's first investment in China's financial technology sector. The Sovereign Wealth Fund's MD, Tansri Azman Mokhtar, calls WeLab's business model attractive. The company cooperates with financial institutions to provide banking solutions on a purely online and mobile platform. This while providing affordable credit to people who are unable to obtain financing through traditional channels. WeLab operates Wolai Dai, a mobile lending platform in China, and Hong Kong's WeLend.hk. It was founded in Hong Kong in 2013. By 2015, its customer base had reached 2.5 million individuals, and it has helped source 9 billion renminbi, or 6 billion ringgit, in loan applications. Kazana's WeLab investment comes after it emerged that the fund, along with four other companies, had jointly invested about £128 million in Skyscanner. The Edinburgh-based travel search engine receives over 35 million visitors per month and has an annual turnover of £93 million. The Public Accounts Committee may miss a March deadline to present its report on a probe into 1MDB. Its chairman, Dato Hassan Arifin, says there are still some missing details which the PAC hopes to get from questioning former 1MDB CEO, Dato Sharul Helmi, and ex-chairman, Tan Sri Baki Saleh. Oleh kerana banyak lagi perkara yang perlu kita teliti secara lebih mendalam untuk kita mengemukakan satu laporan yang lebih detail saya menyangkakan uh, yang hari ini boleh uh, kita uh, uh, habiskan proceeding kita No dates have been set for the formal officials to appear before the committee Hassan was speaking to reporters after the committee interviewed the troubled fund's current chairman Tan Sri Lodin Wok Kamarudin today And that wraps up the evening highlights I'm Jacqueline Peng thank you for watching